Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about some catfish rigs that I used, and um, there are several different varieties of them, but I'm just going to show you uh, two of the main ones that I go to, my surefire rigs, that are going to catch catfish. Now, um, with that being said, these rigs are actually uh, used for all, for every species of catfish. I'm sure you could even catch bullheads with these rigs. But I don't think you'd have to go that complex to catch bullheads. But um, the first one is a three-way rig. Um, it just is a three-way swivel. It's got my main my leader line to my hook, a leader line to my sinkers, and then my main line tied to the top. And um, what's so good about this is is there's so much movement in this three-way swivel. So. You're, that's one reason I like this uh, over the Kentucky rig just because of the three points of, of movement and that's why I like it a little better but I do use a Kentucky rig if I don't have any three-way swivels I just tie a barrel swivel on and then I'll tie a Kentucky rig which the Kentucky rig is what Chris Flores uses on Muddy River catfishing and he catches some really nice catfish with him and has no problems and to Steve Douglas he uh, he uses he has a video up on how to tie the Kentucky rig and so does Chris so check those out if you're interested in that but I'm gonna kind of teach you some things with the three-way rig now on this I just tied it real quick but um, this would probably be half the length of my sinker leader um, just because that way I know my baits gonna be off the bottom now when you're cast out, especially if you're on the bank fishing, and I do a lot of bank fishing, is it's going to be setting at an angle like this, and your hook's going to be dangling on the bottom, and your current's going to kind of pull that up if you're fishing in a river. If you're fishing in a lake, it'd probably work even better, but on my application, where I fish all the time, it's a, just the Grand River, it's a pretty deep hole, and it's very snaggable. And uh, what I mean by that is, there's tons of debris. Um, there's a bridge, and every piece of driftwood, every piece of trash coming upstream flows into this and gets caught in this bridge, in the pillar of the bridge. But that is a really good area to target flatheads. When you're looking to catch flatheads, and you're driving along the road, and you see a bridge that you could easily fish, and you look underneath it, and there's some trash, and there's a pretty good hole of water nearby. Nearby, you're probably going to catch a catfish if you, you're a big flathead. If you cast near or just by the uh, um, the brush pile or whatever there was whatever is there, and look for rocks too. Rocks is a good uh, good indicator of good nesting areas for catfish, and uh, that's what I kind of look for when I'm bank fishing or finding new areas on catching catfish. Is just structure, debris, just any kind of thing that looks like there's going to be a catfish there. But with this rig. You can just you can go through all kinds of stuff with it, and you pro and you won't get snagged probably. I mean, there's one time I think I got snagged, but that's because I dang near cast it on the bank, and uh, it was a big rocky ledge, some drip or some rip raft, and uh, I almost lost a rig that day. But um, that rig, you the reason I kind of went with the three-way rig, and everybody knows the Carolina rig, slip sinker rig, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the reason I decided I was going to do the three-way rig was in the area that I fish, there is a lot of people that can easily fish here. It's, you just drive down a gravel road and you walk a few feet and you're ready to fish. I mean, it's literally that close. And everybody fishes there. Um, and they use the Carolina rig. So I wanted to do a little different, do things a little different. And I was in my local tackle shop. And uh, I picked up a three-way swivel, tied it on, was went out and tried it. And my dad, he actually had one tied on too. And he caught this big 20-pound flathead, or 25-pound flathead, excuse me. And uh, I, th I was sold immediately because we caught a lot of 5 to 10-pounders. Every once in a while, we catch a, a good fish. But with this, it seems like we catch more big fish than we do small ones. I think the smallest fish I've caught on that's a 6-pounder. It was a channel cat. And, I mean... That just was awesome, but that's kind of the reason I went with a three-way rig. And then if you're in areas that's heavily fished, 
it's no different than your bass fishing. You got to do things a little different, uh, and sometimes those those differences can cause you to catch really big fish that nobody else is catching. But the next rig I use is a Santee rig or the Santee Cooper rig. I call it the Santee Cooper rig, which is another rig that keeps your bait up off the bottom. And uh, I honestly like this a little better. It's a little simpler to tie. Um, you just, I have just a barrel swivel, a sinker bumper, a flat bank sinker, and then I have about two foot of leader line, a 50 pound mono, with a snailed a dot uh, circle hook with a peg float, an inch and a half to two inch peg float. Now that peg float will cause that bait to lift up off the bottom. And I leave, I like to leave, if I'm fishing with live bait, I like to leave about, oh, two to three inches. But on this one, I was uh, fishing with some cut bait. I had some cut bluegill I was using. And um, so that's why I kind of went a little closer to my hook this time. But this rig is a very effective rig. A lot of people use it uh, fishing, let's say uh, you're dragging the bottom if you're boat fishing. And it works drifting too. But um, I like it for bank fishing. It just really keeps that bait up off the bottom. And um, it just, it's a lot more easy. It's a little easier to tie. There's not as much component, there's not as many components into it as there is like the three way rig where you got three points of knots that could easily, that, well, I don't think they would break, but you never know. So this is why I like this rig. It really keeps that bait up off the bottom. And, um, it's just a really good rig and it seemed like a lot of people use them for blue cats but I catch flatheads with these too. Um, the biggest flathead we caught here recently was uh, well one of the biggest ones we caught was with this and uh, just a uh, it's just a great rig and it's easy to tie like I said I just tie a easy snail uh, a clinch knot and then a polymer knot from my main line so this is a really good rig it, I've yet to get snagged with it and that's kind of my main reasons for these rigs is a snag uh, the snag ratio I don't get snagged hardly at all and uh, before I was just oh my gosh you couldn't fish in areas that I wanted to because you'd lose a freaking whole tackle box full tackle overnight so that's why I use these rigs but um it's just really all you got. I think the peg, all this stuff, is less than ten dollars, and um, they're just really eff good, effective catfish rigs. And um, a lot of the videos that I have on right now, or the, the videos that I have on now, are with the three-way rig. I don't have any videos with the Santee rig yet because I haven't been doing much fishing lately. Um, just haven't. We're getting into the spawn period and, or the nesting period and the fish just aren't biting that well. The gar are, the gar are tearing it up. That's what's irritating me, but we need some rain. We need to get that river up just a little bit, get it murky again so the gar will leave me alone. But uh, we've had some really hot weather and it's just not been too much fun fishing here lately. And it seemed like everybody here is lately is getting out and doing some fishing, so except for me. <laughs> but anyways, um, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll post more. And if you guys want a video on how to tie these or um, just any kind of video, just comment on there and leave me uh, uh, let me know. So thanks for watching, and uh, good luck fishing. Yeah.